Sam. Yeah. God's blessings to you and welcome to Bethlehem Lutheran Church for morning prayer. I just be at morning prayer this morning. Tom has some his doctoral work to attend to. Um, it's getting towards the pointy end, so just me today. I'll actually be on holidays next week, um, and so Pastor Tom will be on his own taking morning prayer um, that week. Today we are using the service order, Time After Pentecost, Discipleship, and I will read later on the psalm for this coming Sunday, which is Psalm 130. Let's have a time of silence as we prepare to receive God's word to us. The Lord is the strength of his people. Come, let us worship him. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness, come to my relief. Do not bring your servant into judgment, for no one living is righteous before you. We love you, God because you first loved us. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Answer me quickly, Lord, my spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, or I will be like those who go down to the pit. We love you, God, because you first loved us. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. We love you, God, because you first loved us. Yes, yeah, so today I'll read um, the psalm, actually, for this coming Sunday, from Psalm, uh, psalm I should say, 130. We've heard recently, in this week, um, chanted Psalm 130 from the English Standard Version, I'll read out Psalm 130 in the New Revised Standard Version. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is great power to redeem. It is he who will redeem Israel, from all its iniquities. Let us take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Yes, yeah, so I'll read out, first of all, a verse from the ESV translation, and I'll read it again from the NRSV. If you, O Lord, two verses. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? 
But with you there is forgiveness that you may be feared. And here it is. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, <coughs> who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you so that you may be revered. This is um, interesting because if you think about reverencing God or fearing God, you might think that the motivators for fear or reverence of God would be God's awesome power and might, his righteous freedom, you could say, or authority to condemn, to judge. We wouldn't need much persuading that this is um, what would lead us to fear or reverence any figure, maybe especially God. But what's noteworthy about this psalm is it says that it's God's mercy, his forgiveness, that leads us to reverence him, to fear him. And so this naturally leads us to think the sort of reverence or fear that's being talked about here is not one that we commonly experience in the human community. Something else is going on. Indeed, as Christian people, we do understand that because God has shown his love for us in Christ Jesus, that our hearts are moved to true reverence of God. If we only reverence out of fear, then we are people who will want to escape like our first parents did when they sinned in the garden. We're hearing this in the Genesis reading on Sunday. But through the gospel, we draw near to God and show right reverence because he is merciful. I think this is a very beautiful psalm and this verse is an important verse in my own life and I use it regularly in my pastoral ministry. I think I'll be taking this psalm today to a home communion, a communion at a nursing home, and focusing indeed on this verse. Again, Pastor Tom will be proclaiming God's word from the Mark reading, the Gospel reading, a very interesting reading. I'm looking forward to hearing him proclaim that word, but I'll leave it there for today. Our Lord Jesus has told us to deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow him. Let's pray. Loving Father, hear our prayer. Thank you for sending your Son to be our Saviour and for calling us to follow him. Loving Father, hear our prayer. Forgive us for being timid and faint-hearted and for failing to speak and act when we should. Loving Father, hear our prayer. Guide us by the light of your Spirit. When our faith is weak, make it strong. When we lose heart, Encourage us to put our hope in you. When our love is small, remind us of your great love. Loving Father, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of this day. And we pray that we rejoice in the day that you've given us, that we take our sufferings and difficulties to you because you care for us, and that we remain open to the opportunities that you present to us to grow as your people today. Be with me as I go visiting today that I may indeed faithfully bring your word to people in pastoral need. We pray, Heavenly Father, for those in our congregation who are dealing with loneliness or work troubles or family difficulties, that you look at them in your fatherly goodness, that you show them your mercy, that they may call out to you in their need, and receive healing and strength from you. Be with our congregation as we meet together this coming Sunday around your word and sacrament. Encourage us to meet together and not to give up meeting together. Provide for us in our need, we pray, and grow us in real Christian love. Also be with those who are traveling over this long weekend, that you give them safety as they travel and return home. Heavenly Father, we come today with our own needs and the needs of those close to us, and we bring them to you now in this time of silent prayer.
Direct us, Lord, in all we do with your loving kindness. Give us your continual help so that all our actions are begun, continued and ended in you to your glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. To God who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory forever and ever. And may the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory in Christ, make us strong, firm and steadfast. Amen.